Uh, so the apples start here with the apple trees and they're picked. And then we pick the, select the good ones. And as you can see, they're uh, washed and then quartered over there so they can go through the masher much better. And once it goes through the masher, then we'll take that mash and we'll put it into the machine that produces the cider. First step, Christian, is what? To wash the apples. You have to wash the apples. Why do you have to wash the apples? We get the spray off of them. Ah, we get the spray off of them. Well, that's great. Wait, here, ladies. Cutting up the apples. You cut them up, but, so you do them in uh, quartering. Quarter or eight? Okay, I So these are the clean apples you bring over. And as you can see, it's a whole team event here. And happen all over here. So this is the chopper, and we're going to chop the apples. So we're pre-cutting them so that they go through the chopper easier. And we'll chop them up and make mash out of them. And the mash then goes into the press, and the press is where we squeeze the cider. That's going to be interesting. Here we'll uh, get this up and running and start making some mash. Sounds like a great plan, and they're still working hot and heavy here. I believe they have over 120 pounds of apples that we're going to turn into apple cider here. You guys are doing a good job in making sure the apples are clean, and if there's any bad ones, then they throw them away. Good job. Not get Dundee, so what's what's the process over here? So these apples have been washed to get the pesticide off. They've been uh, cut into small enough pieces that this chopper can chop them up into the mash. And we're going to take this uh, mash as it uh, comes out of the bottom of this uh, chopper and. Uh, it's not enough in there yet, we just started, but we're going to take that mash and put it in the, uh, the press to squeeze all the, uh, the cider out. Fantastic. Well, we're looking forward to it. It's yeah. been a fun process. It is a fun process. And while the apple cider is being made, these young ladies are preparing for us donuts right so we're going to have homemade donuts is that right yeah and um, we're going to hang um, donuts from the clothesline I think and we're going to try to get them by only using our mouths <laughs> that's going to be fun fantastic thank you <laughs> you're going to get some yeah all right so remember don't fill them too too full yeah oh you're making apple cider donuts Good. Next. Good. Yeah, they're a little. That's a little too much in them, huh? Go a little. Savannah, you got to be in the holes, not all over the whole thing. Can I have the first one? Of course you can. <laughs> but you might have to beat Gavin up for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get the other, get some more going. Wow, this is the final product. He's good, but I have to do Okay, Savannah, why don't you taste it and you tell me what it tastes like. Every time I give him a Yummy. Ah, uh, great. When I give him a okay. and write it down. Because I need to, know. to see what the pattern is. Okay. Yes. We're not home before you start You're recording. beautiful, <laughs> you're beautiful. All right, so it says you need 15 pounds of apples to make one gallon of cider. Wow, that's so, a lot, doesn't it? It's 190 pounds of apples today will make us 12 ga about 12 gallons. Wow, that's been great. Well, we don't have to worry about everybody drinking. They can have as much as they want to. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work in order to get some, right? Okay, right. You have to earn your keep today. Right. Thank you. So, yeah. This is fun. Thank it's you for asking exciting. us. I'm glad you came. So it's starting now, Dundee. So this is the mash after, after we chop it in the, in the chopper. 
You take this mash, put it in the squeezer, and the cider press. And what type of a cloth is it that's going to be squeezed through? So there's burlap. So the burlap is what is what holds the the pulp part of the apple from coming out. So all we all we get so the burlap is like a little filter, uh, filtering out the uh, the cider, the liquid from the the pulp. And here it's coming out. So yeah, and you you'll get cider out right now from all this. And the cider is coming. So at the end, you put those in to squeeze every ounce of it out. Yep. That's the, no idea. How old is that uh, press? This is uh, probably 50 years old. I can remember when I was a kid. We, uh, we press cider with this. When I was a kid. And this is the crowd here. This is the crowd watching the apple cider time. And it just little mash, it just presses it right out. There's the delicious apple cider. And Uncle Rudy. That's the final product. I, I guess it was Mr. Nestler. Mr. Nestler bought that part of it over there, the squeeze part, and Rudy bought this part, and we used to make cider all the and time. Where's the crowd sitting over Everybody here? Enjoying it and supervising it, giving it advice. <laughs> That's part of the fun. Here we go. Come out of the press into the bucket, and then can I help you by holding that, Linda? Okay, thank you. First gallon looks like. That's gonna be it, I think. That's yep. gonna be it. That's it for that one. Okay. Now we need to put a top on it. Oh here, good. I put it in the shade. Okay, so the mash final mash goes to the pigs. Yeah. And you don't have pigs then you can feed it to the dog. <laughs> if you don't have a dog, you can feed it to the cat. There we go. You don't have a cat. What do you use the mash for? Well, that's what I'm telling you. You make apple butter. Apple butter out of it. Fascinating. Yeah. Ah, so you you take the the mash and. What do you do with the mash? Put a little water and a little sugar with it and cook it. Ah. And then put it through a strainer. Wait, what are you gonna have It sounds delicious. <laughs> Good for now. Piece of apple and cheese. Brian. There, here, right there. And we get some apple too. Yeah. I've had enough apple. I'm about had enough. Judy, come on. Megan, you better be the I only got half of it. Thank you. Um,
There's the apple. Okay, apple and cheese. Here we go. We got our apples, some more apple with cheese and delicious apple cider donuts. Quite the day for apple picking in New Hampshire. Going in. Christian has started, we put, Christian wanted to start swimming with that guy they had swam at all spring. Yeah. And he, he said, I welcome my. No, maybe it's not what I was here. Emily knew her and it said, she's one of my favorite teachers. Um, and the juice should start pouring out. One second here. And then it's filtered one more time. You notice there's one more time filtered before it becomes apple cider. Okay. And they filter it one more time. Mom's on, I think she said. It, uh, oh, my mom's on. So that's my great aunt. Oh, yeah. That's. Uh, Paul, this is quite an operation. Yeah. We thank you very much for inviting us. Well, you're very welcome. So this is. Oh, Maria, right? Right. Yeah. You and Cheryl and your wonderful family. So now I never have to say I wish I had been to apple after apple picking at the Nestlers. Never say I wish I had. Working together here. Christian's putting him in through the masher. And Sam is loading the apples whenever Christian is ready for it. There's Paul and his bum blender. Final product that goes into the bottle. And on the ground again. a fair amount of strength to push that in. Get it down and... Uh, I'm going to move the bucket and you put your cup on it. Right out of the press. Here, I'll switch it in. Thank you, Andrew. You buy your bike and then you register. Almost filtered? Almost right. You need yours filtered too? No, just like raw. Thank you. Here we go. See how it works. Whoa. Delicious. Hey, all right, coming back in at you. One, two, three, yeah. go. Right. So, what are we using the apples for now? We're going to make. We're gonna try caramel apples here. Wow. Salsas, where's one that says your name? That Baker looks hunting. delicious. That's yours. Ooh. Perfect. Caramel apples. Boy, how many things today have we used the apples for? We made cider and Caramel apples, and we're going to bob for apples later. This Ooh. is very hard. No, just let it, we have to leave them to And I also apples. had some cheese and apples. Oh, yeah, apples and cheese. Yeah. All right, they're the right there. In there. fact, there's some right here. Cheese and mm. the apples they're are right next gravies. to it. This is full. How many <laughs> gallons will that uh, produce? Uh, each press gets us about two gallons. About two? Okay. It's a really big slope. Good. Yeah. Uh, proof is with the maker drinks their own cider. Yeah. 
well, give us here, a sample. Here we go. We'll give okay. It a taste. That's really good. Sweet. That sounds... Sweet and a little bit crisp. It's nice. Good apples. Yeah, so this is Paul Nestle from Elkins, New Hampshire. Thank you. Well. <laughs> Every time after two gallons are made, they have to empty the mash and wash the cloth and put it back, put the whole thing back together again. By Robert Frost. My long two-pointed ladder is sticking through a tree toward heaven still. And there's a barrel that I didn't fill beside it, and there may be two or three apples I didn't pick upon some bough. But I am done with apple picking now. Essence of the winter sleep is on the night. The scent of apples I am drowsing off. I cannot rub the strangeness from my sight. I got from looking through a pane of glass I skimmed this morning from the drinking trough and held against the world of hoary grass. It melted and I let it fall and break, but I was well upon my way to sleep before it fell and I could tell what form my dreaming was about to take. Magnified apples appear and disappear, stem end and blossom end, and every fleck of russet showing clear my instep arch not only keeps the arch, it keeps the pressure of the ladder round. I feel the ladder sway as though the boughs bend, and I keep hearing from the cellar bin the rumbling sound of the load on apples, on the, of load on load of apples coming in. For I have had too much of apple picking. I am overtired of the great harvest I myself desired. There were 10,000 thousand fruit to touch. Cherish in hand, lift down and not let fall. For all that struck the earth. No matter if not bruised or spiked with stubble, went surely to the cider apple heap, as of no worth. One can see what will trouble, one can see what will trouble this sleep of mine, whatever sleep it is. Were he not gone, the woodchuck could say whether it's like his long sleep, as I described it coming on, or just some human sleep. Thank you. Uh, depending on who is doing the reading, it is about work, aspirations, failure, original sin. Okay, apple bobbin time. No, it's my turn. <laughs> hey. Food. This is my food. Fantastic. Now I will never have to say I wish I had made apple cider and picked apples and ate delicious cinnamon donuts at apple picking time in New Hampshire. <laughs>